Hello everyone, this is my Strange Matter creation tutorial. I'm making it because I haven't seen many easy to understand tutorials out there, so I decided to make one myself. So anyway, the first thing you're going to need, of course, is an antimatter bomb to make the red matter bomb. So, to make that, you need 200 milligrams of antimatter, and then you put five of them in a crafting bench, here, 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 and here. I'm not sure if the order matters. Um, and it will give you a one milligram antimatter, and then you put eight of those around a nuclear bomb, and that makes an antimatter bomb. And the antimatter bomb you put in the middle of eight strange matter, and that gives you a red matter bomb. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to create the antimatter and the strange matter. So first, let's go over to the antimatter because that's the first thing. Ooh. Um, because that's the first thing. So. Um, contrary to what a lot of people believe, you don't actually need to completely encase the particle, the particles in the particle accelerator. You don't actually need a top or an outer or an outer layer. So, for example, here I've got set up a particle accelerator which only has the bottom and the inner bit. They also um, they also shouldn't be too small because if you make them too small the particle won't have time to accelerate bef enough before it hits a corner so your progression to 100% and making antimatter is going to be very slow so basically the longer you can make sides of it the better um, this is one of my preferred designs I like making them in a long line but you can of course make them in a big square or rectangle okay then so um, I've got a particle accelerator set up here uh, rigged up to a advanced battery box with an infinite battery in it. Of course you won't have this because it's creation it's creative mode, but you could just hook up your uh fusion reactor to it or whatever. So that's hooked up to the particle accelerator, which I've put dirt in here, but you can put anything you want. It's just dirt is cheap, so you may as well. And then um you can hold shift and click on the side of it or on the top of it and it will place a uh, a lever instead of opening the interface and then um, you just pull the lever and it'll eat up one of these whatever you've put in here and the velocity will grow and it will eat up electricity faster and faster um, the faster it goes basically the faster it will eat electricity and you can see the little particle going round it doesn't get stopped by you walking into it so you don't need to worry about that so yeah and uh, when that reaches 100%, it will, you can put empty cells in this side, and when it reaches 100%, it will fill one of them and turn it into a 200 milligrams of antimatter cell. So um, once you've got five of them, you turn them into the um, one gram, and then you turn that into uh, into the bomb, as I said. This, by the way, if you were wondering, is uh, electromagnetic glass. It's You just use an electromagnetic next to a piece of glass in a crafting table, and it'll make it into ele electromagnetic glass. I just prefer it because it's see-through, so you can see. Now, this is how you make strange matter. So, um, I'm going to assume you can build one of those, because this tutorial, of course, is to make strange matter. Um, but this, I will show you how to build in a minute. So, I'll just show you it working first. So I've got eight particle accelerators, um, one there, 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 and there. And the reason I've done it this way and not just made a tube like that and put particle accelerators on that is because if more than one particle accelerator is on the same tube, it won't, uh, they won't all accelerate at once. They'll all be idle except for one so you must um, make it so they have separate tubes so for example this one here has this tube like that and then comes around here and goes like that and this one has like that or or even like that but you see what i mean so they all they all see themselves as having different tubes with this design so they'll all go at once so yeah so i've got them all hooked up to again infinite things but you can infinite batteries but you can hook them up to whatever you want and yeah so I'm going to and they've all got 64 dirt in them so I'm going to switch this lever which turns on the two um, 
diagonally across ones from each other at once, so like that. And then they each send out a particle and it blows up here. Because because I activated them at the same time, they both reach here at exactly the same time and hit each other. And that explosion has the wiki says anyway, a five percent chance to uh, drop strange matter on the ground when they hit each other and you don't need to worry about standing in the explosion and also you don't need to worry about your strange missing strange matter and it getting blown up by the next one because items don't get blown up so yes and um, once you have four of them all on at the same time it looks something like this and that is going to get you some strange matter eventually. You can just stand in the middle and leave it going, but don't forget that it will be using power the whole time. But the good thing about it is, uh, because they don't have much time to accelerate, it doesn't end up using that much power, because the main power used in particle accelerators is when they're going at maximum speed. So, yeah. And uh, you can just stand in the middle here, but bear in mind that the dirt will run out and also you'll miss some of the strange matter because it can drop sort of anywhere it can drop sort of here or here or anywhere really where they around where they explode so yeah ah here's, here's some now oh look we just got two okay then so uh, these are strange matter they come these ones you don't need to provide to cells they come already in the cells so just pick them up and you've already got a quarter of a red matter bomb. Okay, now how to build it. So, you take electromagnetic glass or electromagnets and you do five across like that. Then you put one in and make a little um, a little sort of Tetris corner shape like that. Don't know how to explain that better. And uh, then again five across. So that's um, one, two, three, four, five. Another little corner. One, two, three, four, five. Another little corner. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, there. Okay, now you put one away in the, in the center of each sort of of each sort of corner of the the plus. So like you put one there, one there, one there, and one there. Then you need to cover the gr the ground underneath it with um, also electromagnetic, also electromagnet. So like this. You don't need to put them under these because um, the particles don't go over those blocks. This design could probably be um, reduced in size, but I like it because um, I feel it's nice and symmetrical and um, it looks nice and yeah. But it is also the first prototype I came up with, so I'm sure people will <laughs> make um, adjustments and improvements to it. And you could probably stack them up too, but yeah. And so then on each side of the plus you put a particle two particle accelerators one block apart from each other so like that sorry if you can hear my my cat scratching at the door <laughs> and uh, then two like that okay now then you can put um, insulated HV wire so um, you hold down shift like this to sneak and then click it on top and it won't open the interface like that. You can put one on each one, like that. And then you continue it round, and then don't put in this corner piece and put two down like that. I mean, you can do obviously the wiring however you want. This is just neat, I find. I like the way I've done it, and so I always do it this way. And antimatter is actually harder to make, I would say, than um, than red matter because it requires oh more McAfee. It requires um, more time, and also because there's the 200 milligrams being made into one gram, it's it's I find it longer. 
So then you can put two advanced battery boxes either side or whatever kind of battery box you want. Well, I mean, obviously, maybe a good one, but yeah. And um, like that. They need nowhere near this much power. I just put it because it's, again, symmetrical and nice. But you can really do the wiring however you want. And then in each one of these, I put a battery. You won't be able to do that. You'll have to hook them up with the red input here. Unless you're doing it in creative mode. But. Okay, and last one. Like that. Then in each of the particle accelerators, put a stack of whatever item you want to turn into red matter. Or lose, eventually, of course. Um, but don't put anything too expensive because it it's, doesn't speed up the process in any way. It, um, it just costs you more. So there's no point in putting anything better than dirt unless you have an abundance of cobblestone or something. And put that. But don't go putting diamonds in it thinking it will make you give you a 100% chance of getting red matter or anything like that. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you put redstone and make it go to make it well put it like this anyway. I don't know how to explain that, but it's so that it goes to it. If you put it like this, it won't work. It will just be sort of like the redstone just passes by it. So do make sure to put it like that. And then oh, like this. And I put a lever in the middle, but you can put it here if you want. It's again preference, however you hook it up. It just makes sure that they are hooked up with exactly the same amount of redstone. Like, don't go putting, don't, don't like like change it up and put repeaters on one side and not to the other one. They need to leave at exactly the same time. So it's best if you either stick to this design or make something else, but make it symmetrical. Okay, so continue around like this. And anyway, you do that on all of them. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and turn them on. So, just pull the levers, it'll start off the two at once, and then put them all on. And that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it's well made. It's my second tutorial on YouTube, but uh, don't go watch the other one because, <laughs> well, you can if you want, but <laughs> it's uh, a bit rubbish. It's about a game called RuneScape. Um, let me know how you liked it. For those interested, this is an antimatter explosion. And in a minute, I'll do the red matter one too. It's got a pretty long fuse on it so you can get away. <laughs> and absolute devastation. Of course I'm in flat world so there's bedrock but that would be a big deep half sphere hole. And if you do it underground it would be a full sphere. And the red matter explosive I would not suggest setting this off lightly because it is extremely devastating so I've shown you how to make it be careful where you put it <laughs> so it starts it starts off and it's a wormhole as you'll see in a second like that it's not too laggy compared to what you think oh test difficult really anyway it's not that laggy it's not as laggy as you think and it basically continues like this grabbing balls around it and making making a sphere bigger and bigger until eventually it um, gets to a um, a diameter of 70 blocks and um, that's when it will stop so a radius of 35 and the, the, the thing itself will never stop the explosion itself will never stop um, but the the explosion itself will never stop but the um, but the, the the blocks will stop 
like getting pulled into it. So it will stop at a certain a certain like width, but it won't it won't stop exploding. And um, yeah, and you can also, if I was in um, normal mode, I would just get sucked into it. Uh, if I was in survival mode, and you have no hope of getting all your stuff back because um, it all because there's just bombs that go off in the middle here, constantly explosions, and so it's like as if you set off TNT next to all your stuff on the ground, it just it just blows it all up. So you saw slime just got sucked in there, um, and yeah, and also you can't place blocks inside it. So and unless it's bedrock, which you can't get in survival Minecraft. Um, it will just suck it straight up as soon as you put it down. And it won't blow up more TNT, it will just drag it off the ground like that and blow it up. So, yeah. Pretty devastating. And it never goes away unless you counter it by um, managing to blow up a never, another red matter explosive or antimatter or any other kind of explosive that's big enough next to it. And um, you run the risk of. Um, setting it, flying it off in another direction so like the explosion knocks it backwards and it will never lose speed so it will go that way continuously for example and devastate the world as it goes and that will lag you out so wouldn't suggest